Scorpio. Hi, it's Athena and welcome back to Athena One Muse. Okay, we're getting ready for, we're going to dive deep this reading, okay? Each reading we're doing this month is um, going to be almost like an extended version. Okay, sometimes we just do readings that are longer than others, right? But I want to shout out to all of the readers globally and say thank you to each and every one of you for sharing your time with us. And I want the viewers to know how much time and effort these take out of our lives, okay? So I appreciate that on every level. And it's awesome to see the uniqueness that everyone comes to the table with in their readings. So I thank each and every one of you. And I enjoy all of you. Okay, let's continue now with April. Those of you on another note, those of you celebrating Easter, happy Easter. I wish you a wonderful season. Spring is here, so let's get started and see what's going on for Scorpio. For Scorpio, for April. Oh my gosh, wow. Scorpio, April 2018. All right, <laughs> let's see. Do you want the good news first or the bad news first? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, Scorp. All right, so the wheel is turning and you want to make a love offer while this wheel is turning, right? You're very emotional, Scorpio, this month. Not that you're not intuitively emotional beings um, as it is, which is a beautiful thing. But this month, you want to offer your love to someone or someone wants to offer their love to you. Okay, this could be that you offered in, it's in the past position, but let's continue and see how it unfolds. We have the um, Knight of Cups, right? We have the Wheel. We have the Moon. Two of Wands. And the Palace of Cups. So... You are all in your emotions about this. Let's just start with, right? The good news is that there is an offer. There could have been an offer. You could be thinking about an offer and, you know, having that wheel change for you, having your life change for you. However, there's a glitch. Sorry, Scorps. There's a glitch, and the glitch is um, things that are not revealed, cannot move forward until they do. So, there, it's not bad, right? Out of five cards, right? We got three good cards, and we only have this little glitch here. So you can't move forward until something is exposed. Subconsciously, you're holding on to something. There's also, you know, you are emotional about it. There's, there's confusion. There's confusion here. Um, you don't know where you're going and it's under this moon. There's confusion and you're, you're highly emotional about it actually. Cause I got this, this is where you're, you're Scorpio. You guys are like this anyway. Okay. You're highly emotional. But for this month of April, I think it's going to be a little more than, than usual. And we have the two of wands reversed, which means you can't move forward yet. So maybe you're still, I don't know, maybe you're still, I think you're just waiting for this to be resolved. I mean, this is the only thing that I see here that's detrimental for you to turn this right side up, right? Right? to move forward in one door, which door are you gonna pick? Is it your choice or is it someone else's choice? You have to, you only, you know that. You have to, you have to see that, but right now you're not seeing anything and you also have a bat here. There's bats flying. This could be part of your, well it is, it's your subconscious, right Scorpio? It's your subconsciousness too. 
and it's not yet in the light, obviously, right? Okay, let's clarify. Okay, so this um, deck that I'm using is the Tarot of Dream deck. Now for clarifiers, we'll use the Gilded Tarot deck, okay? So let me shuffle a little first, get things rolling, get the energy moving. I see on the wheel, for some reason, I see a four. So this could be resolved. This new beginning for you can be resolved in April. The wheel has the number four on it, Scorp. So it could be resolved or it could be resolved with be within four months, okay? We have the Knight of Wands upright, a very passionate new beginning that you want to start with. Um, and you're, you or the other person have not walked away yet from the situation. You're still kind of, I don't see the waiting card, but you can't possibly go anywhere until this gets resolved. It's either you, Scorpio, or the other person. These are the two cards that are standing in the way of a new beginning. Okay? And either you don't want to walk away or the other person doesn't. Okay, let's just keep going and see what we got. Oh my God, now I have the moon reversed. So guess what? The shit's coming out. The shit's coming out and now a decision needs to be made. See, it's just, this is how tarot works. A decision needs to be made for a new beginning to happen. And how is that gonna happen? Let me show you how it's gonna happen. This moon card is now, whatever was is going to be coming to the light going to be whatever was hidden comes out because why illumination always sets you free the truth always sets you free I am going to take this card because it was sticking out see there's not a completion here yet a cycle has not ended yet with someone I don't have any court cards so we don't know what's going on the only two cards is I have a Scorpio and then I have Aries Leo Sagittarius which could be your son I'm sorry, which could be your moon or rising sign as you are the water sign. Or you're dealing with a fire energy. But I don't see this as um, exterior to you, actually. I see this as the energy of you want a passionate new beginning and you're waiting. Someone needs to make a decision on it and there is no cycle completing itself as of yet. And why? Because this has not come to light yet. In April, it's gonna. It's gonna. In April, a decision will be made. Let's hope. Let's hope the decision can be made in April. Who knows? I don't know when this cycle's gonna end. Because this is karmic. This is a karmic situation that you're going through. Okay? And once that karmic... Once that... Once a karmic cycle completes itself and writes itself, how does it write itself? It writes itself by the stuff coming out that was not exposed. When that comes out, when everything gets illuminated, then you have your choice there. Right now, there's no, no movement at all. Let's get, you know what, let me see because I don't want to get crazy with the clarifiers, but we do want, you know what? I think I do want, I'm thinking two more cards because we have double twos here. We have double twos. Trying to make a decision, wanting to make a decision, can't make a decision about, maybe you have, yeah, yes. Completing a karmic cycle. One of the decisions will be about completing a karmic cycle and starting over in that cycle. Okay. I hope that makes sense. I'm going to get two more cards, please. 
And look at, they just came out, right out. Here you are. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so Scorpio, you came out in your own reading. If only you do this. I'm kidding. All right, so we have the Two of Cups. So Scorpio, you so want to offer your love to someone, a passionate new beginning. Right? Right. And until this is all revealed, right? Once you know you're in the know, once you're in the know, then you can move on, move forward, move on. Be your if yeah, once this cycle completes itself, this offer can then write itself. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Okay. All right. So we're going to stop there because, you know, you came out in your own reading and then movement will happen. Just what I said. Just what I said. Movement will happen when this com when and the wheel will then be the wheels turning right now actually. It's happening now. So the, the stuff that's going on will write up themselves in the month of, yes, in the month of April. Things will write themselves out. Karma will be, a karmic cycle will end, and then this will turn itself right side up. Yes, because the wheel is upright. Okay. That's good. Scorpio, that's really good, huh? Wow. Wow. Okay. This is karmic, though. I just want you guys to know it. For those who it, rec who it resonates with, it's not, it's not going to resonate for everyone. So make sure that you're going to not only look at your sun sign, but look at your moon and rising sign for deeper clarity on the situation. But I feel really good about this. Um, in, in, on our journey, in our lives, when we are dealing with karmic cycles that need to rectify themselves, when they rectify, these are patterns. Karmic cycles are patterns that are formed in our lives that continue, continuously come up. Maybe different faces come in our lives and different um, people are shown to us. You know, we, we new friends, new lovers, new partners, but the patterns still remain like this, which is their cycles continue, continuously keep going and on and on, right? The wheel keeps turning, but if this, if this cannot complete itself, it can't. If it doesn't write itself, it continues to keep showing you the same patterns form in your relationships. If you don't do the work, if they don't do the work, it's not really as much them as it is about you. You have to see what patterns are forming in your life, Scorpio, and why are they still not write, write it out. Why? Because you have to do the work on yourself. You can't expect, you can't expect this kind of love to come to you until you work things out on your own, right? You want to give this love. You have a great, big, huge heart, Scorpios. You do. But this has to, this has to come up, this has to turn around. This cycle is going to continuously keep going round and round in circles until it turns up like this. And then the karmic cycle, the patterns with new people, with people from people that come into your life from whether they're they're new or or from your past, whatever that makes no difference. The cycle is now complete. 
the pattern does not, it already rectified itself. Therefore, it's not going to happen again. It's not going to repeat itself. But it cannot happen unless you do the work, Scorpio. And that's for everybody. It's just coming out in your reading. Everybody needs to rectify their, their karmic cycles. Everyone. No movement can happen. That's why you're feeling like this. That's why you're, you're blindfolded, because you haven't done the work. You need to do the work. Look at all these emotions here in this card. Look at this. There's huge emotions. There's huge confusion. There's huge not knowing. Well, it's because it's, we only have ourselves not to blame, but to blame. Okay? So, underneath moving forward, underneath this chariot card, you want to move forward, you're going to move forward. But underneath that card, these cards, you have the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. You believe that you've planted your seeds. You believe there's balance that's going to happen. Sure, there is. Look it. Look. That's why you have these two here. They're double twos. These twos can be... This, this movement can happen. This movement will happen. You've planted the seeds. The movement will happen. But only until you do the work on, on you. And what does the work on you mean? Oh my God. Well, the work on you means this stuff this the hidden stuff that you don't tell anybody because why you're a Scorpio you're deep you're deep in your thoughts you guys dive so deep into your thoughts and your heart mostly your heart because you're intuitive you know you know the thing is is that possibly others don't know how deep you are how deep you feel things some people don't understand that and you need to turn this around. Not saying you're going to walk. You want to travel. Maybe you want to do some traveling. But you can't do that until you get this unstuck. And now it's going to happen in the month of April. It's, you know, things are going to move. Things are going to, you, maybe you've been working on yourself. Right? All right. Let's put these cards aside. And now we're going to use my favorite deck, the Ascended Masters, who are who have been with me for many years. Trust the situation, Scorpios. Trust that you're being guided. You're always being guided. See the other person's point of view and listen. Listen to your intuition. What does that mean? Listen to your intuition. When's the last time, Scorpio, you guys took a walk outside and said, gosh, I'm just going to take a little Mother Nature walk and go outside and get some fresh air. You've got to detach from drama, too. You've got too much drama in your life, Scorpios. Okay, one card for Scorpio. Actually, I'm going to take two because I saw it. <laughs> right? Are you the teacher? Who's the teacher? Scorpio. Purify your soul. That's what's going on right here. Look. Purify your soul. To make this karmic cycle end, you need to prioritize. What is most important in your life? How are you going? How do you see your life, Scorpio? Where do you see yourself? going? Are you going to continue these rep repetitive patterns that have been continuously in your life? Or are you going to set the mood right? Are you going to turn this right side up and say, okay, I really, I got it. I've cleaned my, I've cleaned up my game. My game is clean now. My health is, 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 you know, I prioritized what was important. Purifying. Purifying means mind, body, and soul. Purifying yourself 
from a mind, body, and soul. And then this clears up. Then this will turn around. Okay? We cannot, as beings on this earth, we, we will not be able to move forward until we learn our lessons. And that's just the way it goes. Some of us learn our lessons a lot quicker. It's just like school, right? The earth plane is the school. So these are lessons. Whatever patterns that have formed in your life, Scorpio, the only way to rectify those is to purify your soul. Go to the doctor. Eat right. No drinking, smoking, I'm not saying, you know, within reason. Balancing out your life, right? Prioritizing what's important, right? When's the last time you did, you did this? I'm not saying you, you don't, Scorpio. I'm just saying this is what the cards are telling me. Find someone who will help you. Maybe that's what you need. Maybe you need guidance to help you. Purification is all of the above. We're talking from, you know, like, for example, for me, I'm not going to be eating meat for, you know, for this 40-day Lent period. But guess what? I am going to, pre I'm just going to keep going. I have, I have completely, you know, I'm a vegetarian. I'm no longer going to be eating meat. Why? Why meat? Because I love certain, certain, I love certain courses of meat. I'm Greek. I love lamb. But that's not the point. The point is I want to purify my soul. So in order to purify my soul, I need to eat light. Keep your vibration up. By eating light, it keeps your vibration up. By, you know, not doing anything in excess, drinking, smoking, you know, by purification and all, on all levels. That's what this means. It means on all levels. Because when you purify your mind with positive thoughts, then you purify your, your body, eating right, exercising, you know, things like that. And then it goes, and what happens? Your soul says, thank you. Your soul says, thank you. King Solomon says, oh my God, victorious. We're victorious because we, we learned that this is what we need to do. It's, it's right there. It's right there for you. You just have to get it. You want to just have to go grab it, grab it, grab it and take it. And it's your life, Scorpio. It's no one else's. And that's what you have to figure out also. This is your life. Okay, so let's look at a love card for Scorpios for the month of April 2018. Scorpios. Oh my God. Do you hear that? Sorry. Wow, that could mean like we really hit the nail on the head. We did. That's like attention. This purification, that that honking, that noise out there outside my window was about, was like right on. There's some deception going on. There's romantic feelings. Keeping an open mind about what you want and how you're going to get it. All right, one card for Scorpio. And it's this one. All right, so I, I'm going to, I was told to look at the bottom of the deck too. So your career and finances are affecting your love life right now, Scorpio, and so are children. So, or this could be from a past, you know, past life relationship, someone that you've known before. Um, you're also looking, I, I'm feeling a loyalty issue here because of the dogs. Or it could be children with dogs. It doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm reading for thousands of people here. So let's just use whatever, you know, resonates with your life. Children are involved. Loyalties involved. Finances and career are involved in your next step, especially, right, in love. Okay, so purify your soul. 
You know, this this is part of purification right here. Is becoming childlike. When's the last time you went and went to the park and started swinging on some swings? When's the last time you were just having a playful time in life? Or it could be your children. Okay? Whatever it is, it's also this. Your finances and career. And what's that mean? Purify it. Send love and light to your career and finances and your children. We are God's children, no matter what. Okay, and then, of course, I'm not going to keep going, but I have to say, trust. Trust that you're going to be able to purify your soul, move forward, start a new life. Maybe you're starting a new life with children. Maybe you're pregnant. Maybe you just became pregnant, if that's the case. Congratulations. Finances and career. What do you, you know, what are you striving for? Are you working on it? Are you purifying it? Are you sending it love? Send it love. Purify. Okay? You got lots of love to give, Scorpio. Everybody knows it. You just got to get this fixed. Got to figure it out. This is the same card as this. Once you purify, these karmic cycles will be concluded and you can move forward with a clean slate. Okay. And that's what we're here to do. Okay, Scorpios, I wish you a wonderful April and I'll see you next month. Okay, bye.